Good morning, good morning. This is Jackie and um, this is Break Fast with Jackie. Today's topic is new beginning. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jackie. I'm a life and business coach. What I do is I help you create strategy that helps you thrive with your self-development, personal finances, business planning, and management. We're going to get into this topic because I won't be before you long. Today, I'm going to tell you a story. Now, some of you may have heard this story, but um, I like to say sometimes I give the homegirl version of it. But in... John chapter 8, John chapter 8 uh, specifically talks about a, a young lady. It also talks about Jesus. Um, Jesus was, she, Jesus, he went to Mount Olive. And the scribes and the, Ser- the, the, scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who was accused of adultery. Now, during this particular time, according to the law of Moses, when a a woman committed this, or I guess a woman, when a person can committed this, they were they were stoned. But they took the woman to Jesus. So in in verse 6, they said, it says, this they said, tempting him, that they might be, they might have to, excuse me, that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down with his finger and he wrote in the ground. As though he heard them not. So when he continued asking him. Apparently they kept asking Jesus. What do we do with her? Should we stone her to death? He. Speaking of Jesus. He lifted himself up. Onto them. And said. That is without sin among you. Let him first cast the first stone unto her. And again, he stood, he stooped down and wrote into the ground. And they heard it, right? They heard what he said. And in that moment, they were convicted by their own conscience. And they left. So at this particular time, there was only Jesus and the woman. Jesus lifted up and saw himself and and the woman there. And said unto her, woman, where are, there, where are your accusers? Where are the people who were pointing the fingers ready to stone you? She replied, there are none. There are, they ain't, they gone, Jesus. Now I told y'all this is the homegirl version, right? Jesus responded to her, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. At this point in time, this was her new beginning. So let's let's start right there a new beginning. What what should your new beginning look like? Many people they follow me on different social media broadcasts, I mean, excuse me, uh platforms. They l- read my posts, they reply to my posts, they buy my products or services. 
But I want to ask you today, what's your new beginning? Where do you go from here? See, because yesterday is gone. This is a new day. So all the stress, stresses and the worries that you may have had yesterday and the days before are gone. And so you have a decision to make. You can either continue the same life that you don't really desire or really want. Or you can choose a new beginning. You can start by deciding, hey, I'm not going to sin against sin anymore. I am not going to do the same thing over and over and expect different results. You can decide or say, hey, I'm going to listen to the voice of reason. Obviously, the path that I'm currently on is not where I should be. And in doing that, decide to create a plan, a new path, a new destination, and then make the connection to get there. Invest in it. See, because a lot of people are under the misunderstand, have the misunderstanding, believing that all I have to do is post on social media. I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to have great customer service. I don't have to talk to the people. Listen. I am not going to lie to you and tell you that this journey won't be challenging. It will. But it is well worth it. The challenge would be is simply removing the weight that you have carried many years on your back and allowing growth to come in. Removing the weeds so that your garden can start to grow. This segment was meant to inspire, to motivate, to push you, to tell you that you can do it. It starts with a decision, but it doesn't stay with a decision. Because belief or faith has to be followed by actions has to be followed by making plans has to be followed by making a connection has to be followed by making an investment has to be followed by getting her done And that's how we start our new beginning. My name is Jackie. This was a new, this was a, another growth strategy. The segment was called uh, Break Fast with Jackie Edition. The topic was New Beginning. My name is Jackie. I'm a life and business coach. I want to thank you all for listening for more on this topic and help with your new beginning towards self-development, personal finances, business planning and management. Schedule you a discovery call today by going to linktree forward slash route to victory. And that is found in the title and in the comments. Until we talk again, goodbye and have a beautiful day.